Hey everyone, Colby here. So today we're going over Minaya, the legendary support champion in the Bannerlord faction. If you recently got Minaya, then you'll be uh, happy to know that she's a great support champion, but you know, not a top tier kind of champion to carry you through. Maybe, you know, the clan boss take you to Ultra Nightmare. Uh, and not a champion that can carry you through to pvp but she's a great champion to carry you through in dungeons because of how her skills are so the way i've built her is is very specific because i want to showcase how good of a support she is so i went for more of a, a tanky kind of setup not a damage dealing setup so i have her with life and lifesteal gear uh, this is not ideal but lifesteal gear is what you would usually have in a team going in the dungeons and you know trying to life steal your way uh heal everyone up heal yourself up and in case something happens uh just have a, you know a support champion that can using minaya with apothecary for example would be a good way uh to properly uh, go through all dungeons 20. the way i build minaya guys overall uh, her stats are 200 speed that's that's a very good starting point for having a solid team in the dungeons as close as you are to 200 means you can go twice before the enemy waves that's always the case for a good team because you can basically cycle through your skills way more often than if you had under 200 maybe at 150 but if you've got other champions that boost Fermiter, for example apothecary and uh, then you you can go a bit lower with speed there so critical rate critical damage there uh, that's okay resistance accuracy i didn't care about all these stats so i went for a good amount of health uh, just so she can be a bit tanky uh, in case something happens she can be the one to heal up everyone else so she wouldn't be the one targeted so ideally i have her with defense and hp chest and gloves the reason is if you're going to be using her in the clan as well you want to have a good mixture if you're a beginner if you're more of an end game player trying to get to the end game at least you would prefer to go more defensive gear instead of hp gear so defensive chest defensive gloves and even defensive boots as well uh, actually can help but you need a ton of speed to do that so you would sacrifice a lot of speed to go uh, defensive boots you must be farming uh, that that dragon 20 already uh, to get that good amount of gear uh, usually unless you get extremely uh, lucky so the the life set is just there to give us just a bit more life for her and then just some random band little lords gear that i had critical damage uh, on the amulet since i don't think i even had an hp amulet available and then a good speed banner uh which okay that's not usually the case maybe i can drop the speed just for the video and get a maybe you know this five star with plus 12 instead yeah i mean the difference won't be that much oh don't want to sacrifice 100k silver okay so let's look at her skills guys minaya has an a1 attacks one enemy places a 15 percent continuous heal buff on the ally with the lowest hp for two turns obviously this is very good especially uh, with teams that have uh, a way to use minaya and and let her do her a1 more more than once so a counter attack uh, team maybe uh, or maybe an all ally attack team uh, then minaya will be very good in healing up your uh, lowest ally somebody who got hit you get healed a bit through that continuous heal buff uh, when he gets his turn and then a2 attacks one enemy heals this champion and the ally with the lowest hp by 10,000 hp minaya is one of the few champions out there that has a flat hp heal so 10,000 you might think that's very low but actually there's champions out there that even at level 60 fully ascended with proper gear on for example a cold card even a good cold card can have about 25,000 health so uh, that's almost half of a cold heart's health in case something happens minaya will be healing that champion for almost that amount uh, other champions of course have way way more health for example my my mountain king can reach up to 100,000 health so uh, 10k health will be just 10% of his health has a 75% chance of placing and 100% heal reduction debuff on all enemies for two turns this is a very nice skill to have if you need a way to apply that heal reduction debuff and a reason to apply it so maybe the fire knight boss but for me i did not see a reason to use uh, this skill especially if you're also going to be using here the clan boss you do not want to have accuracy and have that heal reduction debuff go on the boss and then we have her a3 heals all allies by 40 percent of their max hp this is insane as i said before 
imagine if you had a mountain king that's 40,000 heal instead but if you had uh, a champion like a cold heart 40,000 of you know 25,000 health maximum health that would be very close to 10,000 heal so it's like her a2 in that case so very different depending on the champion she's healing but it's 40 percent of their max health place a block debuff buff for two turns on champions under increased defense buff so this basically benefits only if champions already have that increased defense buff so if you have someone else to buff up your team first that block debuff buff is going to be good so you can accompany her in the clan boss with another champion that applies an increased defense on your team first then minaya goes applies the block debuffs so that the boss cannot stun you during his stun turn or uh, apply that uh you know those debuffs when he's under 50 percent hp if a champion is fully healed by this skill also places a shield buff on them for two turns equal to 25 percent of the champion's hp so uh it's that's also great when your champions are already full then she'll be applying a very good shield on them 25 percent hp is not is not bad it's a good amount of shield and this can go down up to four turns cooldown if you fully book this out this is good when she dies you don't want her dying but if if she happens to die fills the terminators of all allies by 20 percent and then revives the champion by 75 percent hp with 75 percent hp when killed if corona is on the same team that's very hard to get because corona is a void legendary champion and that's this synergy the second part of the synergy only works when corona is in there so if you don't have corona uh, then she won't revive so don't count on that in case uh, you see here going low that's why i have her a bit more tanky uh, than you know other champ that i would be all other champions now going over her masteries guys have that war master and of course retribution masteries right here since we don't need the support i could have gone the support tree for more heals uh so for more heals here then go down the healing tree she's the value the heals uh this champion casts but i think uh her healing is already good enough so i'd rather have more you know uh retribution in there uh to for her to get in more auto attacks auto attacks means more war master procs war master procs can be very strong against bosses and that's what i want to have minaya doing of course if you want to use her mostly for support instead you could even go uh you know defensive and support and don't care about war master at all uh, so you will have other damage dealers going in there instead and she'll be defensive you know with the counter attack just just to go in there for a few hits but also support tree and you can even go you know up to here to lasting gifts so she can extend her debuffs her buffs and also you can even go for timely intervention and so she gains more turn meter and she goes in for the heals so it really depends on how you want to build her but usually war master is the most beneficial since you'll be just a bit more damage on those bosses and of course the clan boss as well so guys let's just go in and showcase for um showcase minaya first maybe in the campaign so in case you do not have a farmer you're gonna see that minaya is not a really good farmer he just she just has one a one uh so she just has one a one that does a one hit attack she's she does not have a way to kill the waves where is she can't even find her uh let me try and find her minaya there she is She's got a good aura like all ally speed in all battles by 19 percent so that can be beneficial you put her in the lead uh, instead of all, all other allies so look at that big heal so she hit there a weak hit that's fine every one of my team is gonna die and she will just be slowly farming through uh this this campaign stage so definitely not not a good champion to use uh as a farmer but she'll do the job and i think the most beneficial would her uh be in supporting your team in, in dungeons like the minotaur so if you're still having trouble farming minotaur 15 she can definitely help you uh carry through in there so let's just go out of this one so it's gonna take forever uh let's just get out next up guys we're gonna look at the dungeons uh let's go in the du dragon's lair of course dragon uh is the one dungeon that you uh basically need to farm first you're gonna be farming dragon forever pretty much if you're playing this game uh you're never gonna stop farming the dragon for the reason being those speed sets are in there i'll be using this team for dragon 20 dragon 20 is a very important 
dungeon uh, when you're progressing through to the game you'll be farming this dungeon pretty much forever so uh, you should get a team going for this as soon as you can stage 20 as soon as you can because you'll be basically farming this forever since the speed sets are in here even if you reach a point where you don't need lifesteal sets anymore i've reached that point uh, even if you reach a point that stalwart sets are not important i also reached that point with an unkillable team for the clan boss then you still need those speed sets you never have enough speed sets and especially now with the 3v3 arena going the 3v3 arena needs you to have 12 champions and speed is king in this game because it's a turn order game so speed is king follow follow the speed dungeon which is this one the only dungeon that drops speed gear so let's go in uh, we put in here another support champion uh, because we need that attack down so we won't have any issues at all uh, in just losing our health so look at all that support to our two damage dealers one being soulbone and the other being Althar. uh soulbone will be getting hit but the attack down really helps to keep her alive look at that 9k uh attack there she's almost down but we should hopefully get a heal on her uh anytime now see that continuous heal from a1 from minaya and we also have that ally protect from uh uh f from my what's her name totally forgot her name uh yeah okay totally forgot her name i'm not good with names uh i used to remember all those epics but so this is going slowly so we're just gonna skip through to the boss and see how this team does on the boss i don't think we should have any issues especially with Althar in there so we reached the boss guys in after a while so this is not an ideal team to have like two support champions and then uh you know have another one that's like a support champion so Althar is just going to be the one uh, killing the boss but the boss should not be the one uh, giving us any trouble just because we won't die in any way like uh, we've got Minaya there we've got Apothecary uh, we've got Rearguard there's no way we'll, we'll ever drop down in health we'll be getting those heals getting those shields and just going through the content very fast So the big thing here is to have a poisoner for the dragon and if you've got a good support there like a minaya like an apothecary those two go very well together because they help each other uh heal up the team members that drop a bit uh while they go through the dungeons so a minaya will definitely be very helpful in keeping you alive i think she'll also be very helpful in the ice column which we'll be looking at next so uh let's just drop down the dragon right now with with those uh poisons oh yeah it's just gonna take a bit longer there we go uh the dragon is down and that was an easy way to go through with just using supports if you're having issues uh good supports are gonna take you through the corner but it's gonna take a while all right guys let's go in the ice columns we're gonna be using minaya a good attack down champion here and defense down which is stagnite two damage dealers to get through the waves and of course we're going to showcase jarek as well because he's going to give that increased defense up uh to showcase minaya's you know additional buff that she provides if there's an increased defense buff already on your team so that's what we're going to be showing that increased defense buff is going to give us block debuffs buff which can be huge in the ice columns because of those very strong debuffs that the ice columns boss puts on your team and you know the ice columns minions up at the front also put uh, very nasty debuffs on your team as well so uh, the reason i have two damage dealers here is because i just want to get through the wave to showcase what happens when we reach the boss look at that huge shield that we have already uh, such a good way to support my team also jarek is more of a support kind of champion so i'm actually using two supports here and then Sinesha is in a way a support because she can also do the, you know, equalize heal on everyone. Uh, in case they get low, she also can revive Skull Crown if something happens. So see that equalize there. So I'm more like going with three supports here instead of, of one. But I think it's still going to be an easy way to bring down the, the boss. So, okay, one minute to reach wave two. 
that's slow but it's expected out of this kind of team which is way slower than others okay let's look at the skull crown going low uh is she dead is she bugged i'm not sure what's happening here i think i think she's bugged She's not attacking, so probably she's dead. Yeah, nobody is, t is attacking my skull crown, so I'm, I'm thinking she, she got bugged and she's dead. So we might still be able to just do it with these three champions, but it's gonna take a while because it's gonna be a very, very slow burn kind of team. So we reached the boss guys in about three minutes with already taking down the boss and it, now it's actually way faster with, with having three uh, people in here instead of just skull crown and Sinesha uh, because look at the heal uh, actually applies a shield on everyone uh, everyone is still staying healthy and I think it's a fantastic uh, way for us to survive the defense increased defense is up and the war masters are just gonna take down the boss very slowly so yep decrease defense and decrease attack just make wonders in all dungeons and stagonite is you know fantastic champion to have here we're showcasing uh minaya's though healing abilities uh, it's it's our only healer real healer um Jarek is basically there for those continuous heals that increase defense and you know that attack down in case something happens uh look at that shield very nice shield we have on our team ally protection block debuffs also from minaya's uh, additional uh, benefit when there's uh, an increased defense on all of your team so yeah this is gonna take a good while but we're gonna take down the boss so guys reaching the end here it just took us a while because we're a three <laughs> three person team here but it's just going fantastically the support is insane uh just minaya keeping everyone alive the shields are up all the time and then yeah that's it i don't know what skull crown was doing there it was just a visual bug but as you can see minaya is a definitely a very strong support and she can definitely be worth it if you're going to try out uh, the clan boss as well so minaya if you have her and you don't have any other kind of supporting champion then go for her go for uh, level 60 uh, her skills do not need to be maxed out so you save your legendary books masteries as i said are good but not game breaking if you're taking it in the clan boss and need that extra additional uh you know dungeon damage you then go for the masteries they're always good to have in all champions because she'll be also very useful in the banner roads faction as well so thanks a lot guys for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one see ya